this is the first movement in education that I know of that is basically saying you cannot skip to the kids with the new thing you have for us. You have got to start with the teachers. If we want mindfulness in the classroom, then we better have mindfulness in ourselves as we do the work. And when we have that mindfulness, give from that place of loving and caring, and the children will learn. Well, His Holiness absolutely doesn't have any denomination on this. I mean, when he said educate the mind and the heart, he's not talking about religion. He's talking about the right practice that creates the right neurological firing, that creates new pathways in the brain, that create a better outlook on life. And that's what we want to teach our children in school. Those non-cognitive traits, the ability to, to bounce back after a disappointment, to deal appropriately with a confrontation, to persist at a difficult task. And if we could build that system, I think we could, we could have a culture where success stories no longer seem so rare and random. Educating the heart, that is, teaching children these skills such as empathy and compassion, self-esteem, self-awareness, social awareness, not only helps children be successful in school, but also successful in life. For children to understand the deep truth of if you want to be happy, practice compassion. They need to practice compassion and experience for themselves the joy that that brings. We can actually change ourselves through intentional practice, just as we go to the gym, in that we can investigate to see if that's true or not. I would hope that people drop the identification as a parent or as an educator entirely and experience themselves as individual learners, as discoverers of the nature of their own minds, and find in the expression of their natural curiosity a way to live that enhances the flourishing of the children in their care.